It is 628 on Friday. Mm, I can't see the date on my watch. The 16th. 16th. And we are gonna continue on hiking. Today is the Audie Murphy day. Very exciting. Florida flat, <laughs> except we're going up three miles up. Enjoy it while I can. We made it to the ridge line. I am so happy we're not climbing up anymore. I mean, we still have a little up, but it's nothing like before. We, uh, there's a nice little bench we're sitting on and taking advantage of. We appreciate the bench. Whoever, whoever built the bench, thank you. And you'll see the AT go southbound downhill and northbound on the ridge line. We are very close to Audie Murphy's memorial. Very exciting. This is the water source up here. That nasty snag, stagnant. This is what Ken remembers when he through hiked in 2018. That's why we hauled water up that mountain. That is nasty. Holy cow. It smells as bad as it looks. Oh. We are on the right path to the Audie Murphy monument. To get to it, you have to go off trail up a little bit. Wow. Audie Leon Murphy. Born June 20th, 1924, died May 28th, 1971, born in Kingston, Texas, died near this site in an airplane crash, America's most decorated veteran of the World War II. He served in European Theater 15th Infantry Regiment, 3rd Infantry Division, and earned 24 decorations, including the Medal of Honor. 
Legion of Merit, Distinguished Service Cross, and three Purple Hearts. He was survived by his wife, Pamela, and two sons, Terry, Michael, and James Shannon. Affected, or erected 1974 by the Veterans of Foreign Wars, post 5311, Christianburg, Virginia. So many. We're not sure what this is. We think it might be raspberry because it's a different leaf, but we're not brave enough to try it. I just ran into some fellow Ohioans that live right by where I used to live, and I wish I would have gotten them on film. Uh, one of their brothers, we ran into them a couple days ago. Also, they're, uh, they're day hiking, section day hiking, and uh, the one brother is conductor and flat top, white top, something top, and I'm so sorry uh, that I can't remember your name. But anyway, we, I was uh, reminiscing with them about a restaurant that I used to love to eat at, Luigi's. And the one brother is gonna be going there in a couple of days. So shout out to the Ohioans. The brothers. So I am having a peanut butter gummy bear tortilla wrap. Yeah. And if it doesn't get worse, uh, this tortilla wrap, Ken and I didn't want to buy tortillas because we only needed two to tor tortillas at the time each. And they come in the smallest that we've ever seen is an eight pack, but most likely it was 10. And so we ordered food at the Mexican restaurant that came with tortillas so that we could pack them out. That's how bad we off we were at the time. So I'm gonna eat my gummy bear peanut butter tortilla. Mm, I think it's gonna be chewy. So I am getting my first Trail Magic, a gentleman on a motorcycle who doesn't want to be filmed. Coke and ice. It is in the 80s and well, well wanted. That was such a wonderful Coke. Now I've got to hike up a mountain for a mile with a full belly of Coke, but it was good. I told Ken I was gonna rant at this spot because I have officially gone cranky after three weeks on trail. One can only take hiking in 80 some degree weather. Today it was 89 or higher in 80% humidity up hills. I can only take it so long. But we got a Coke, regular Coke on ice, trail magic down there. And we um, filtered water for it took about 30, 35 minutes. So I kind of have cooled down. So my ranting is not as bad, but we are going to do a 0.3 down to a shelter 
to stay where we know there's a couple with a yippy dog that I don't want to camp with. Which, and a bell around its neck that just ding, 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 ding. I'm never going to sleep. But I'm turning myself around and I'm not going to be crabby anymore. So, the good news is we would have had to hike point three down here, get to the shelter, then hike point two straight, straight down to get water, and then a point two back to the shelter. So, at least now we have water, but we have, we're hauling five liters. So, I'm turning myself around and I'm not going to be cranky. Did you hear that, Ken? I heard that last part, and that's the most important part. Yes, and look at this really cool, we're starting to see stone walls, which is really cool. Very cool. We are arriving at Pickle Branch Shelter. Ken and I scoped out some campsites about point one, point two towards the shelter. From the shelter, I guess you should say. And uh, we decided we're going to push ahead to the shelter, sit there for a little bit. We have a uh, phrase we're gonna say if we want to leave we need to see how annoying this dog is in the couple so um, the reason why we're doing this is it might rain and it's you know we don't want to have to pack up a, dry, a wet tent and we got to go over dragon's tooth tomorrow which is so exciting very excited about dragon's tooth ow <laughs> Down there's the privy. And there's the shelter. So you may or may not see us putting our tents up. We're gonna have to see. Could they take up any more room in there? This is Pickle Branch. We're going to turn around and hike back up and find somewhere with uh, more of a breeze. We like to tent camp better anyway. Yep, those are our tents. We couldn't do it. This is such a gorgeous area. In spite of the rain, we are still gonna tent. There's a better option. It is 8, 10 p.m. Ken and I are each in our own tents. We have an alarm set for 4.30 in the morning because it's going to be extremely hot and uh, rain is coming in, and we're doing Dragon's Tooth, which is a bunch of rocks and exposed areas. Rocks and water don't mix well with being safe. I'm doing my laundry in my tent, <laughs> which is basically just drying it out from the sweat hanging from the top of my tent. And i um, trying to think if there's anything else. Uh, tomorrow we're going to a hostel. We have to resupply for <coughs> two more days. And it's not a real store. It's like a gas station store. So this is going to be interesting. And I think we have mostly down tomorrow. But we do have some serious ups. And there's some technical stuff going on. I will talk to you tomorrow.